Hi everyone, and this is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy dot com, and this is your January twenty twenty love monthly forecast reading. Please do know that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate to each and every one of you. However, you can always interpret this based on your own understanding of what's happening into your personal situation. If you're interested to do a personal reading, though, you can do so by going to my website, indestarsbychrissy.com. All information how to contact me and the services that I do will be posted on the description below this video. Um, anyway, without any further ado, let's get on with the reading for Taurus, January 2020. <coughs> um, I do apologize for my voice. Um, in the past few videos, I still have my cold, so um, yeah, please do understand. It may not be very clear or so. Um, so let's see what's happening with you guys. The first card that showed up here as the main energy in situation that you're dealing with is the hangman and the five of cups. Over here, I'm using the steampunk tarot, if you're interested to know. Um, it is also being clarified by the seven of cups. The seven of cups and the two of swords. So this alone is telling me that there is something really heavily in your mind maybe you are confused or feeling a lot of things feeling out of sorts i kind of feel that there is a part of you wherein i'm not really seeing the past but i kind of feel that you're seeing things in a very negative way maybe you're it is showing me here that you know m something has happened in your life and think it's like something happy or some form of opportunity came into your life which is supposed to be a good thing but for some reason you're seeing it in a very negative way negative light or maybe you're doubtful or you're not sure about this venture or about this situation about this relationship because we do have the foundation card of the page of cups and the three of cups all together so this makes me feel that you know there was something emotionally fulfilling that is happening to you but for some reason your views on how you think about this situation is not necessarily in line with it so i don't know if you're just thinking too much debating too much in your mind wherein you are trying to invent things in your head that is not really existing in the situation or relationship scenario and this is really what's bothering you i kind of feel that for a lot of you guys you have a big trust issue or this can also mean that maybe you feel you are just being doubtful with the person that you're dealing with maybe things are too good to be true and you're thinking that I don't know. I just kind of feel that you're just being too hard on yourself because it makes me feel that the person that you're dealing with does not have any bad intentions towards you. In fact, they care about you. <coughs> they care they are caring about you. But maybe not but they may be not showing it in a way that you want things to be so maybe you have you know some form of control issues in your head about what is supposed to happen what is the step-by-step -step process of what's supposed to occur 
in the relationship in in the scenario and that is really not happening which is causing your doubts and fears but they are showing you the best way that they can to make you feel that you're loved that is really what I'm getting here So um yeah, there is an energy here of um, a relationship, a connection that feels so good, so overwhelming, but maybe you're thinking that maybe it's too good to be true and you're doubting the relationship. There is some form of indecision, uncertainty that you have in your mind. At the same time, you know, you have this mixed feelings as if you trust the person. At the same time, you don't. You want to risk things. At the same time, you don't. So I kind of feel that y you keep changing your mind. You keep changing decisions. And I'm not really going to be blaming you for that. Because I kind of feel that you have your own reasons why you're feeling this way. And for the month of January, that energy, that feeling of feeling undecided might be all over the month. You can feel it that way. I just kind of feel that maybe you're just sensitive to the energy surrounding you. But uh, what I'm here to tell you is that, you know, everything is fine. Nothing is really wrong. In this relationship, I don't see anything wrong. I kind of feel that, you know, maybe you need to mature on how you deal with the relationship, you know, um, and try not to compare your past relationship to the present relationship that you have right now. And, and to learn to trust, to overcome things in your past and to face this relationship without any fear is probably the focusing energy of this reading because here in the hopes and fears we do have the tower card and the six of cups which is very contradictory because it feels like you're wishing for things to really be better um not really better but for things to really come together for things to you know make you feel that emotional fulfillment for things to progress for things to go deeper but at the same time you also fear that this is just a relationship that is not going going to do, to go anywhere you know there are two two messages that I'm getting here it's like a person who wants things to work out and at the same time he or she also feels that this is all just a joke and that this is one kind of bullshit or something like that there is that kind of energy that I'm sensing over here so I kind of feel that there's a lot of reflection being done by a lot of Taurus out there and mainly they are very emotional and sensitive to the energies around throughout the month of January and I kind of feel that you know the only way to overcome this scenario is to is to really stop thinking and you know just look into your heart look into your heart what do you really want what do you think this person is towards you you know I kind of feel that you are highly intuitive, especially during this time. You will know, you have the answers. You will know if someone is treating you 
as a playmate or if someone is serious about you, I kind of feel that you will know. You intuitively know this. You might be very emotional, but I kind of feel that you exactly know the answers to what's happening into your situation at this time. So that is really what I'm getting here. The the only thing that you need to be aware of is that, you know, to not lose control of that emotions, you know, to not have that emotional banter and criticism and to express that to someone else, you know, like, like you are sh- uh, you could be assuming things and you could be telling them that hey I know you're cheating behind my back those kinds of things but maybe they are actually not so there is some form of confusion that you have placed in your mind and you might just be you know expressing this to someone else but I do advise that you do not do that I'm really not sure if I'm able to express what I want to say, but basically the tours that I'm picking up right now, the relationship that you have, if you have doubts right now, I'm here to tell you that, you know, there's nothing to doubt about. Your relationship is not the most romantic or anything like that. Maybe the guy is not so much invested in you. But it does not mean that they're not taking you seriously. I kind of feel that it's not a matter of whether this person is being invested in you or not. I kind of feel that the issue here is whether you are trusting this person. Because at the end of the day, that is really going to be the core of whether this relationship is even going to last or not trust is a big deal here because sometimes you know trying to trying to accuse people things that they're not actually doing can actually you know create problems in the relationship making things fall apart when they shouldn't be falling apart in the first place so in one aspect that is what i'm picking up for taurus on another aspect this can also manifest in a way wherein there could be some of you guys who are lost in wonderland you know thinking of a lot of things i don't know if it has a lot to do with your past but maybe some of you guys are not letting go I'm not sure if it has to do with the past or the idealistic nature of you is like popping up. You're putting a lot of ideas in your head about your ideal relationship, but of what you want to happen in the relationship, but you're not really um, confronting the person that you are with or the person that you are possibly supposed to date with i kind of feel that you know what is in your head and what is in your reality can be different and sooner or later you might have to see the reality of that difference all i can see here right now is a lot of emotions swirling in a lot of emotions a lot of things that you want to happen but you're not entirely facing the person that you are supposed to face and confront with so i kind of feel that for a lot of tourists out there there is going to be an issue wherein y- there's just a lot of em- emotional turmoil or you know it, you are feeling a lot of things you are feeling a lot of things thinking a lot of things were in there is a chance that you may not necessarily 
facing reality the way that you should and this is like a reminder that you should stop going into your head and look into the person in the eye and communicate to them talk to them and tell them what you're thinking tell them what you want don't just put everything in your head and expect them to know it all they are not psychics and even psychics sometimes cannot even do that so you know if you are wanting something and you're not getting it instead of just keeping it all inside of you the disappointments or whatever you have found out if something is upsetting you talk to them confront them it's better than you know um, it's better than playing mind games it, it's always better to communicate and to clear something out find out the truth Taurus that is really the biggest message that I'm getting over here because nothing is ever going to be solved by just assuming things you know um, some some I know some people will just you know go to a psychic and have a reading and believe entirely what the psychic is telling them I am a reader and <laughs> it happens I know and I'm not telling you to not get a reading but I'm saying that readings are for insights not really the reality of things you know there's still a thin line because i kind of feel that yes this is the scenario that we are seeing you're seeing that this is the possibility of what this person is thinking or feeling but at the end of the day you still need to confront and talk to them that way you will really find out the truth so going to a psychic is just one aspect of of finding clarity of what you should do based on what is being anticipated but at the end of the day nothing is really gonna happen nothing is ever gonna be revealed without really facing the person and confronting the person head on and I kind of feel that instead of going to your head, inventing things in your mind, or talking to someone else who is not related into the scenario, it's better to talk to this person. It's better to express what you need to express and tell them what you want answers of, basically. Is what I'm getting here I kind of feel that during this time you will get the answer that you're seeking if you are in this type of scenario if you are in this type of situation so um, yeah there is that kind of energy so and the advice card that I have pulled for you guys is the meditation card and this alone has some form of maturity to things because when you meditate you you know it takes a lot of practice and work to do meditation even a lot of spiritualists don't even meditate on a regular basis it takes work it takes effort and it takes initiative to do a meditation it's like you're being mature by trying to remove all of this random thoughts in your head and going within with your inner peace and all that so maybe you're just being confused or you know um, I know a lot of Taurus are very sensitive to a lot of things so maybe they're just picking up the energy of other people absorbing them so if that is the case and meditation can help you clear out the energy of your own feelings of what you truly feel versus of what other people are just feeling those kinds of things 
I kind of feel that you know before you confront this person, maybe you want to meditate first to clear your head of what you really want to say, what you want to get clear of those kinds of things. I do see in the near future that, that there's going to be some form of clarity and insight going to be coming to you, but you need to take action to confront them and not just put everything in your head. Because if that is what you plan to do for the whole January, you might find this time um, very emotional, like you have a lot of things going on in your head you might find yourself having issues with your partner or a person that you're interested with but there are going to be confusions right there because you don't know exactly the truth so um yeah there is that form of energy so again i keep repeating myself because this is really the main energy of what this is really telling you is that to find out the truth you need to talk to the person period confront them and see the truth head on i kind of feel that for some of you guys you need to be matured in how you handle relationships as well and not treat this as a uh, high school sweetheart wherein it's all about the feelings you know sometimes it's not just about the feelings you also need to learn how to communicate you know that's just reality of it so um yeah this is my reading for you guys taurus there's going to be a lot of work you need to do in terms of your romance you do have um saturn and scorpio in the fifth house in my astro dice over here so there's going to be a lot of work a lot of clarity a lot of um, I don't know <laughs> a lot of illumination that's gonna be happening in terms of your love life and your romance life of what makes you feel happy what makes you feel secure and what is love to you as a whole is going to be addressed and being focusing on throughout the month of January 2020. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. I do hope that this channeling guided message insight on what is to come for you for January is going to be helpful and hope that it will resonate to some of you guys i kind of feel that it is a very specific reading so i'm not sure if it's gonna resonate or anything like that but um yeah this is just a general reading um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next month